The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the co cops, which was fun at fur 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 first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replace Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clear her name, some way other than turning myself in. Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the northern lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Besson and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. Pathevius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the town slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like the sun could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go, both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. Okay, so here's what we know. One, Arpeggio's blip is on its way to pick up a battery from Jean Bisson. And two, the only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blip. But before we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talons off Jean Bisson. Time is short and we've got a lot to accomplish. True, true, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cane. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. It's good to see my cane upgrade perform so well in the field. Now scout the area. I could really use the reconnaissance. This place is bear country. 
country, all right. Interesting. He's putting out a slight radio signature. detect a Wi-Fi link to that boat. It must be piloted by computer. Bisson's house, the lair of the beast, the dead of evil, the epicenter of ecological destruction. Okay, that should do it. Now for the real point of interest. Head for that lighthouse and try to find a way to sneak in.
Okay, that should do it. Now for the real point of interest. Head for that lighthouse and try to find a way to sneak in. Just looking at that spinner makes me dizzy. That's the battery charger, but where's the battery arpeggio's coming to pick up? I was right. The entrance is barred from the inside. Might as well get a shot of old John Bisson. Oh, Sly, listen in. He's mumbling to himself. Come on, Jean. You got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye! I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is, yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. <laughs> Just a kid.